Welcome to an epic journey through time, where legends were born and the spirit of honor and bravery roamed the ancient lands of medieval Japan. In the heart of East Asia, there lies a land of profound culture and history. A land where the old and the new converge in a harmonious blend of tradition and innovation. A land that we know today as Japan. In this journey, we will dive deep into the fascinating era of medieval Japan, a time that spanned from the 12th to the 16th century. This period, also known as the Feudal Era, witnessed the rise and fall of powerful samurai clans, the development of unique arts and culture, and the construction of architectural marvels that continue to inspire awe and reverence today. The feudal era was a time of constant warfare and political upheaval, a time when the samurai, a class of noble warriors, rose to prominence. These warriors, known for their unwavering loyalty and formidable martial skills, would play a pivotal role in shaping Japan's destiny. But medieval Japan was not just about warfare and political strife, it was also a time of cultural flourishing and artistic innovation. The practice of tea ceremonies, the art of calligraphy, and the arrangement of flowers known as ikebana, all blossomed during this era, reflecting the Japanese people's deep appreciation for beauty, simplicity, and mindfulness. The architectural wonders of this time, such as the majestic castles, serene temples, and tranquil Zen gardens, bear testament to the country's rich heritage and its deep reverence for nature. Even today, these structures continue to captivate us with their timeless beauty and intricate craftsmanship. As we delve deeper into the enchanting world of medieval Japan, we will uncover more about its legendary warriors, its exquisite arts and culture, and its magnificent architecture. We will also explore how this fascinating era continues to influence modern Japanese culture and the world at large. So, buckle up for an exciting journey into the heart of medieval Japan. A journey that promises to be as enlightening as it is captivating. Today, we dive into the fascinating era of medieval Japan. During this time, Japan experienced the rise of powerful samurai clans, shaping the country's destiny and forging an indelible mark on its culture. The samurai were not just warriors, but an elite class whose influence permeated every layer of society. Born into a life of discipline and duty, the samurai were groomed from a tender age in the art of war, mastering skills in archery, swordsmanship, and horse riding. But their education went beyond the battlefield. They were also scholars, poets, and philosophers often studying under Zen Buddhist monks to cultivate their minds and spirits. The samurai lived by a strict code known as Bushido, or the way of the warrior. This moral compass guided them in life and death, emphasizing virtues like loyalty, honor, and courage. The duty of a samurai was to serve his lord, even if it meant making the ultimate sacrifice. The rise of the samurai brought about a shift in Japanese society. Power moved from the imperial court to the military class, with samurai lords or daimyo ruling provinces and commanding private armies. This era, known as the feudal period, was a time of constant conflict as samurai clans vied for power. But the influence of the samurai extended beyond politics. They played a significant role in shaping Japanese culture. The ideals of Bushido permeated literature, arts, and even everyday etiquette. The samurai aesthetic, characterized by simplicity, understatement, and a deep appreciation for nature, can still be seen in traditional Japanese arts like tea ceremonies and flower arranging. The samurai also left a lasting legacy in the form of the Samurai Code of Conduct, which has been passed down through generations and still holds a significant place in Japanese society. This code, emphasizing respect, integrity, and loyalty, is a testament to the enduring influence of the samurai. The samurai, skilled warriors with unwavering loyalty, engaged in fierce battles to protect their honor and defend their lords. Their legacy, etched in the annals of history, continues to resonate in the heart of Japan and the world, a testament to their indomitable spirit and timeless values. Beyond the battlefield, 
medieval Japan was a haven for artistry and refinement. The period between the 12th and 16th centuries was not only a time of conflict and power struggles, but also a golden age for arts and culture, which thrived amidst the chaos. The art of calligraphy, known as Shodo, was deeply respected during these times. Samurai and nobles alike practiced this art form as a way to express their innermost thoughts and emotions. Each stroke of the brush was a dance between the mind, the hand and the spirit, creating a visual symphony on the paper. Meanwhile, the ancient art of ikebana or flower arranging bloomed during this era. More than just a decorative practice, ikebana was a spiritual journey an expression of the fleeting beauty and impermanence of life. Each arrangement was a harmonious blend of color, shape and form, capturing the essence of nature in a vase. But perhaps one of the most iconic cultural practices of medieval Japan was the tea ceremony. Known as Chanoyu, this ritual was more than just about brewing and consuming tea. It was a celebration of simplicity, a moment of tranquility amidst the tumultuous world. The ceremony emphasized mindfulness, respect and harmony, values deeply ingrained in Japanese culture. The tea room, with its simple and rustic design, was a sanctuary, a world away from the battlefield. The meticulously choreographed movements of the host, the sound of boiling water and the taste of the bitter green tea all contributed to a meditative experience, a moment of Zen. These cultural practices were not just arts. They were ways of living, philosophies that shaped the Japanese mindset. They emphasized mindfulness, simplicity, and a deep respect for nature, principles that continue to influence Japanese culture today. From the elegant strokes of calligraphy to the harmonious arrangements of ikebana and the serene rituals of the tea ceremony, the arts and culture of medieval Japan were a testament to the country's resilience and spirit. The practice of tea ceremonies, calligraphy and ikebana blossomed, embracing simplicity and mindfulness. The architectural marvels of medieval Japan, such as the majestic castles and serene temples, stand as testaments to the country's rich heritage and reverence for nature. The period from the 12th to the 16th century witnessed an explosion of architectural innovation as the Japanese people sought to create structures that embodied their values, beliefs, and aesthetic sensibilities. The castles of this era, for instance, were not merely fortresses, but symbols of power and authority. They were strategically built atop hills for defense, with multiple layers of walls and moats. Yet, they were also designed with an eye for beauty, featuring elegant towers and intricate woodwork that reflected the craftsmanship of the period. Temples, on the other hand, were places of worship and contemplation. Influenced by Buddhist and Shinto beliefs, they were designed to promote a sense of tranquility and harmony with nature. Key features of these temples included tiered roofs, sliding doors and expansive gardens, fostering an environment conducive to meditation and spiritual reflection. Furthermore, the Japanese aesthetic principle of wabi-sabi which finds beauty in imperfection and transience, was deeply ingrained in the architecture of this period. This can be seen in the rustic simplicity of tea houses and the deliberate asymmetry of Zen gardens, which were designed to evoke a sense of peace and mindfulness. The residences of the samurai, too, were a reflection of their disciplined lifestyle. These houses were typically modest and functional, with a central courtyard and rooms separated by sliding paper doors. Yet, they also bore the mark of elegance with tastefully minimalistic interiors and carefully curated gardens. The architectural marvels of medieval Japan were thus a mirror of the society of the time, reflecting its values, beliefs and way of life. They were built not just for utility, but to inspire, to provoke thought and to create a sense of harmony with the natural world. Today, these structures continue to awe and inspire, their timeless beauty and profound symbolism resonating with people around the world. The architectural marvels of medieval Japan continue to inspire and amaze. Even today, the spirit of medieval Japan 
continues to captivate the world, making an impact in contemporary art, manga, and anime. The echoes of the past resonate in the present, the tales of samurais, the serene tea ceremonies, and the grandeur of its architecture, all imbued into today's cultural fabric. The influence of medieval Japan is evident in our modern world. From the sleek designs of technology inspired by the simplicity of Zen aesthetics, to the narrative threads woven into popular manga and anime series, the values of honor, loyalty, and bravery that once defined the samurai now find themselves embodied in our modern-day heroes. The meticulous art of calligraphy has influenced modern typography and design, creating a fusion of old and new. Medieval Japan's reverence for nature continues to inspire contemporary architecture and landscaping, promoting harmony and balance, allowing us to immerse ourselves in captivating stories and immerse ourselves in captivating stories. From the strength of the samurai to the refinement of tea ceremonies and the grandeur of its architecture, medieval Japan remains a source of inspiration and wonder. We've journeyed through the rise of samurai clans, witnessed the flowering of art and culture, admired architectural marvels, and seen how this fascinating era continues to shape modern pop culture. But our exploration doesn't end here. There's so much more to uncover about this remarkable period. In our upcoming videos, we'll delve into the intricate world of the geisha, explore the profound philosophies of Zen Buddhism, and unveil the mysteries behind the iconic ninja. We'll also journey through the vibrant streets of Heian-kyo, the ancient capital, to experience the everyday life of its citizens. So stay tuned for more captivating tales from the land of the rising sun. Arigatou gozaimasu! And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until then, matane.